we are Chuck at the 33rd Annual Wells Christmas Parade. Wells Chamber Christmas Parade. We'd like to welcome everybody here to the parade. The weather is rather warm today compared to what it has been in the past. There's no snow, no large amounts of wind. And we'd like to thank some of the sponsors of the parade. The primary event sponsor is Kennebunk Savings Bank. The gold sponsor is Avita of Wells. Silver sponsor is D.F. Richard. Bronze sponsors Home Fashions Outlet, Outlet and the Wells Rotary Club. And also friends of the parade are SOS Maine, SIS Bank, Southern Maine Healthcare, T.C. Hafford, State Farm Insurance, People's Choice Credit Union. The Chamber wishes to thank everyone for their ongoing participation. And here comes the Wells Police Honor Guard. Corporal Tim, Patrol Brett, Patrol Patrick, Patrol Jim Regal, and led by Kevin Cabot. And they've been in the parade every year since its inception. Obviously they need to be here just to keep everybody under control. The Wells Chamber Banner being carried by Jillian Box and Connor Hayward. There's our town manager, John Carter, Selectman oh, Kathy and Chase, Dan Hobbs. And Dan Hobbs elect, going and to the State House for us. Tony Hafford is our Grand Marshal, and Tony won an award from the Chamber for providing service over and beyond what Chamber members and are expected like to do. And that looks like Eleanor chauffeuring Tony. The cars provided by Weirs up in Arundel. We have the Jim Dandies here. The Scarborough Schools of Maine. The Jim Dandies Children's Circus is a school-based program from Scarborough. More than 4,000 students have been in Jim Dandy since it started in 1981. They performed at hundreds of events around New England and ridden in national parades like the Washington Cherry Blossom Festival, Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade, 2013 Presidential Inauguration Parade. Just this year, they recently rode in the Philadelphia Independence Day Parade. They are skilled jugglers, globe walkers, but today they're riding unicycles. Going back to the award that Tony won, he was uh, given the honor to serve as a Grand Marshal as he was the winner of the inaugural Above and Beyond Award by the Wells Chamber of Commerce. The Above and Beyond Award was created to recognize a member of the Wells Chamber of Commerce that truly goes above and beyond their normal membership. A list of criteria included the member's dedication, commitment, sense of community, and support to the Wells Chamber throughout the year. There were several great candidates. After careful consideration, the board of directors voted to give the award to Tony. And the Jim Dandies are doing a little performance out here in front of us. They have been in this parade for as many years as I can remember watching them. We appreciate them coming down from Scarborough every year. It's quite a troop of them. And next, we have the Wells Rotary Club. They've been in the parade for over 20 years. And it looks like Frosty's waving to the crowd. And there is a few Rotarians walking. Christmas music being provided by the Rotarians and a picture opportunity. I can't identify Frosty, but I think I know who's driving the truck. An old longtime Rotarian, Mr. Lee Hansen. Following the Rotarians is Condon's Donuts, where we are. Where we are standing, and it is Santa's favorite donut. Get up. This is part of the rotary float as well. Oh, 
Oh, they're trying to bribe the judges. It is the Rotary, of course. The judges trolley has also pulled up. This year, the parade judges. It looks like the local Rotarians it, trying to judge. If you, hey, if you bribe, bribe judges, the judges, it works. huh? <laughs> Here the local judges include Dar Littlefield, Patty Berger, Ian Balcom, Lorraine Cullen, Gail Connors, Peg Colbert. Helen Sh Shadalek. Bree Worthington. Bree Rangio, Joe Giacatino, Littlefield Family, Kim, Jason, and Bailey, Mackenzie, Amy Eloise Ouellette, Diane Greenwich, and Phyllis Danbury. And we have the Congdon's team in front of us. There's the donut van. And the food truck flow. Manned by course. Congdon's staff. And they're handing out donut holes. And it's, scary. it's Congdon's after dark. A lot of fun this summer with Congdon's after dark. I understand next year they're going to have a variety of more options to go visit. And then we have York County Community College. College van. And a banner. Here come the donut holes. And here come the Congdon's donut holes. No? We're bribing the judges. Oh, bribes. Just say Jay's the best. That's all. Jay is the best. York. County Community College, where the new building was opened this year. I mean, this is their second year in the parade. Now we have the Wells High School Marching Band. And they've been in the parade since it began. The Warrior Band started their competitive season with practices in August and ended the season on October 26th at the MBDA State Finals with a silver medal evaluation. They performed the Christmas parades this year in Exeter and Rochester, New Hampshire, as well as in Algonquin yesterday. The drum majors are Kaya Holsworth, Alyssa Bacon, the color, color guard captains are Emma Kinston and Grace Stevens. The director is Larry Downing. Percussion instructor is Jeff Smith and Sam Oster. Color Guard instructors are Bailey Smith, Diana Shelley, Amy Cashman, and Jessica Bacon. The volunteer drill instructor, Tim Cash. Christmas. And of course they're promoting their turkey dinners on Saturdays from 5 to 7 in St. Mary's Church. It'll be January 12th, February 9th, March 16th, and April 27th. It's a great fundraiser for the band. And we have Kenny Bunk Savings Bank in front of us, one of the primary sponsors. This is their fifth year. Kenny Bunk Savings is a mutual savings bank founded in 1871 and still headquartered in Kenny Bunk. They proudly serve southern Maine and the seacoast New Hampshire with 18 branch locations. They offer a complete menu of services from customer and commercial banking to insurance and investment accounts. If you have financial needs, they have a solution. They had their mascot, Kenny, front of the van. <laughs> Following the Kenny Bunk Savings Bank is the Ogonquin Chamber of Commerce. On the announcer's table. We participated yesterday and we participated yesterday in their parade and today they're up here participating in ours. And it looks like they've got a witch with them and they're advertising all their festivities in Ogonquin. The Gunkwood Festival, Christmas, Christmas by, the sea. by the Sea, and Patriots Day. 
They're followed by the Ogonquin Playhouse. And their uh, theme for today is Elf the Musical. The Ogonquin Playhouse has been staging world-class award-winning musicals for 86 years. Come see the musicals as big as Broadway, right in your own backyard. Don't miss Elf the Musical on stage now at the Music Hall in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Be sure to see all five exciting musicals in 2019, including 42nd Street and Jersey Boys, plus three more Broadway shows that will be announced soon. I wish all happy holidays and a happy new year. Next we have the Wells Reserve at Lord Home Farm. This is at least their second year in. They have a few wild animals in their vehicle. Been over there recently, the trails are frozen. And we have some scouts here. Girl Scout Troop 1226 of Wells. They have built a float. Have some walkers. This is their third walking. year in the parade. And I believe the involved is Katie Kasabinski, Emily Duby, Emily Morrill, Megan Kasabinski, Ashley Morrill, and leaders Nicole Kasabinski and Nancy Morrill. Merry Christmas, all. Thanks for coming. Merry Christmas. Okay, next we have. Miss Angela Holmes, the Pine Tree Princess, and Little Miss Beals. They've come down from Arundel. And the vehicle was donated to us by Bentley's Antique, Antique Auto Museum in Arundel. Following the Pine Tree Princess is the Oakhurst Dairy. They have their antique milk wagon and pony, and they are here for the 25th year. The Academy of Dance was part of the group that walked by, I believe. Yes, it was. Post Encounters, Post. they do the tide pool encounters during the summer. Holiday gift certificates are available now. Cub Scout Troop 356. They're coming through, throwing candy to everybody, trying to sweeten up the crowd. And they have been joined by the Boy Scout Troop 356. So you've got the Cub Scouts with their float. And the Boy Scouts, the older Scouts, are walking with them. As well as the Gunkwit Scout Pack 356. They've been in 10 plus years now. Did they have to charge? Oh, yes, they did. This is Summersworth Cycle Center. An RC shop. They have a float. And marchers. This is DF Richard your local energy heating distributor. Again, they were a major sponsor. Their banner is being carried by Lily Clow and Ashley Boldick. And the DF Rashad's got you covered on all home and business heating and cooling needs. They deliver the highest quality propane, bioheat, oil, and kerosene. And in front of us, we have our Wells Fire Department marching with the trucks coming behind them. The new station has begun being built. We've got a few fire trucks. Then we have the Wells EMS ambulance, which is a separate entity from the fire department itself. followed by the Algonquin Fire Department. Once again, we participated in their Christmas Day Parade yesterday, and they came up and participated in ours today. <laughs> and 
And for people new to the area, they might not know that Agunkwit used to be part of Wells until they seceded. Probably coming up on close to 40 years ago. The truck from New York, fire department. There's quite an array of fire trucks coming through here at this point, Jim. More stuffed animals on New York. And antlers on top of the fire truck. Of course. <laughs> Another, another Wells fire truck. I think they brought everything out today for the parade. I believe the last truck is from Wells as well. It is. One of the new pumpers that they've purchased recently with our hard-earned tax dollars. And right behind the Wells Fire Department is our gold sponsor, Avita of Wells. Avita of Wells is the sixth department, state-of-the-art assisted living community, which focuses on memory. <laughs> The name of Vita, which translates to life, was inspired by their desire to create a safe and fulfilling environment where nurturing caregivers recognize each resident as a special and unique individual. The goal is simple, to make a positive difference in people's lives by creating a special place where residents can thrive and families can have peace of mind. Their banner is being carried by High school volunteers Summer Sayward and Lanny O'Brien. Right behind them is the York Hospital float. The group's name is Mary Poppins on a Jolly Holly holiday with the York Hospital in Wells. It took them two weeks to build this float and it was designed by the hospital's environmental services and fundraising team, friendraising teams. They've been in the parade now for five years with the float, but they've been serving cocoa and cookies after the parade to parade participants at the library for 17 years. And it looks like there's quite a cast of people inside the sugar shack. I have no doubt people will be getting into that hot chocolate after this parade as well. Is the chimney sweep. Here comes State Farm, Nancy Hafford Agency's 2014 Polaris side-by-side. -side. With a bear. Nancy would like to thank Daniel Simeon, Brett Chase, Nancy Harris, Tony Hafford, and Jane Adonis for their help. And behind it is the TC Hafford Basement Systems. Once again, Tony was the Grand Marshal of the parade and won this year's Above and Beyond Award from the Chamber. And they built a very nice float. It looks like it's going to be a beach Christmas. They've got the umbrellas out, all the pails. Enthusiastic volunteers handing very out Very enthusiastic candy. volunteers. Put one of them on there. Grab, grab one of these. No, I got no cash yet. Come back down for you, though. What do you, Thank what do you, you. What do you represent, sir? We're working for the We're Wells the Chambers. We're the announcers. No, you're the guy. Far out. Enjoy the day. Have you. a wonderful day. Thanks. This is the Academy of Dance in Cape Nettick. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. It's an 87 year old Model A Woody that's been restored to original red oak body. It's a 1931 Model A Ford Huckster Woody truck. They're gonna 
They're going to perform a little dance, dance out in front of us here. The candy strewn on the highway. And there's my stepdaughter out there, just uh, <laughs> collecting. What a beautiful old piece of machinery. Model A of Ford. Yes, sir. Out of sedan, so they'd still be making them. Next we have Ralph Luby from York, Maine. Float it's decorated a, army truck. And it's a personal float. And he's got about 100 hours involved in this truck, restoring it. And if you look at the truck, it's got all kinds of lights and stuffed animals. This is his fifth year in the parade. We appreciate him coming from York once again. I bet he does a lot of parades once he gets this set up. It's quite a piece of machinery. Looks like it would probably go just about anywhere. And speaking of coming back for a fifth year, here's William Higgins, Bill, and Anger the Goat from Madbury, New Hampshire. In addition to the goat, they've and this, got a dog. And this is their fifth year in the parade? The dog is Ann Nelson and Greyhound Super Dapper, the Squire of Wells. There you go. And this is our local man right here in town, Chase Farms, has taken out his prized possessions here to pull the wagon down through the parade. Parade, And I believe Rick said these horses weigh over 5,000 pounds. Oh my. The pair of them, obviously. Chase Farms is open almost all year. They close for a short period of time in the January and February, but they're open for Christmas trees, wreaths, all your supplies for your holiday needs, as well as fresh produce, meats. Those horses are actually used on their farm. They use them every day. He harvests wood with them in the winter. And we have Hannaford in front of us. The Hannaford antique truck. They've been in the parade now eight, nine, ten years. Appreciate them coming back. And after they have a second truck, a 1947 KB6 International driven by Darren Roberts and his kids are helping him, Megan and Ethan. They started in the Wells Parade with Dennis B. Major Meyer Sr in the 2000s on ATVs, then they did a tractor club, and now they're joining Ralph Hannaford for the third year. A couple of, couple well of restored trucks. Restored trucks that obviously they use for their parades and activities. And Frisbees. Following the two restored vehicles from Hannaford are Spring Village at Dover. This, this is their the first year in the parade. Again, they're another managed care facility in the area. We welcome them to Wells for the Christmas parade, 33rd annual Christmas parade. Following them, is an entry, the Rod Father and North 48. It's one of two pace cars for Lee Speedway. From Lee, New Hampshire. The, the judge's trolley is going to pull out. I think they're heading down for some hot chocolate, Jim. I'm not sure. Don't blame them.
Following the judges' trolley is going to be the Wells Ogonquit Youth Football and Cheering Association. We have a tradition of excellent football and cheerleading in Wells, and it starts, quite frankly, with the efforts that they make here. It takes a tribe to raise a warrior. The mission of the Wells Ogonquit Youth Football and Cheering Association is to enable young people to benefit from participation in team sports and activities in a safe and structured environment. Through active participation, the Wells Algonquin Youth Football and Cheering Association programs teach fundamental values, skills, and knowledge that provide young people with skills that they will use throughout their lives. And behind them is the third time state champion, 2018 Class D champion, State of Maine. I believe they've won 29, 30, 31 games in a row. They're led by Coach Tim Roach. This is our seventh year in the parade. I don't know how many years Tim's been coaching, but I can definitely say I know it's at least probably 15. And we look forward to another successful year next year. Congrats, guys. Series of cars. And we have some antique cars coming through here. In front of the jolly guy, Santa. And here comes Santa. On the Wells ladder truck. And with the arrival of Santa comes the conclusion of this year's Wells Chamber Christmas Parade. Again, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Kenny Bunk Savings, Avita of Wells, DF for Shard Energy, Home Fashions Outlet, and Wells Rotary Club, SOS Maine, SIS Bank, Southern Maine Healthcare, TC Hafford Basement Systems, State Farm Insurance, People's Choice Credit Union. The Chamber wishes to thank everyone for their ongoing participation in this wonderful event. We'd like to wish everybody happy holidays and hope to see you here next year.